y'all i just wanted to jump on really quickly and give a quick disclaimer that this makeup video was originally going to go in my apartment vlog but it was so long and i really liked the way the makeup turned out i just decided to do its own separate video so that's why i keep referencing the vlog the whole time but yeah just enjoy the video guys I'm back and I'm going to do the makeup get ready with me portion of this video so like I said in the intro I am going to visit mine and my fiance's apartment for the first time um, I'm really excited about it I remember what it looks like but obviously it's been a while since we've visited it and I'm just really excited to see it so um, we're also probably gonna do like a little like picnic date in our MD living room which I think will be super 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 cute uh, so I'm just gonna get you know I'm gonna put my face on and I'm gonna look cute okay this thing has been sold out for like the longest time but it's the poreless putty primer by elf and I swear I've been looking for this thing for like years and just could never find it so my skin is already moisturized so I applied, um, what would you call it? Um, sunscreen. There we go. That's the word. Sorry. I'm like so bad at like using my words, but I applied sunscreen before this and I don't know. Everything I put on top of it, like the white film keeps showing up. So if you guys have any good suggestions for a sunscreen that kind of just sits and minds its business please let me know because i would love that okay i'm just gonna let this it's gonna set for let it set for a little bit so i'm going to do that i took like a giant gash out of it another thing that i have a lot of issues with is finding a good way to apply my foundation like I have this little brush that is also from elf and you know it does the trick but like I feel like even when I apply my makeup with with a brush it doesn't matter what kind of brush it always feels I don't know somewhat streaky and I don't know how to make it not that way okay so for foundation I am using the Laura Mercier um, Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation in Ivory. I don't know if there's a 1W1 Ivory. Yeah. So that is what I'm using. Okay. That's an interesting applicator. Okay, we're just not going to talk about how I mistaked that for an applicator. I correct myself later. Just keep watching. So I'm gonna use this brush to go ahead and Okay, so this is more expensive of a foundation. So I only really use my expensive foundations when I'm like going somewhere fancy which I'm not really doing today, but I thought it would be nice to look cute for the date. Yeah, I don't know, like I just said, it just using the brush feels like it's streaky to me, like no matter what I do, my makeup ends up being streaky. And I don't know if it's just, you know, because I have dry skin, like dragging a brush on the skin like that, just irritates it or what like I have not a single clue why it does that I feel like just going over the makeup with a beauty sponge kind of makes the makeup settle down a little bit and look a little bit less streaky oh that was weird it, it's like this see I told you I'd figure it out okay I'm dumb 
I accidentally untwisted the whole thing. Why am I dumb? Do you just wonder yourself why you do dumb things? Because I just dropped foundation on my floor, on my carpet, and that's not gonna come out. I'm gonna use my Glossier stretch concealer for under my eyes. I'm gonna go in with Fit Me loose setting powder and like set under my eyes. Ooh. And I really like this setting powder too. It's really nice. I'm not sure if there's a flashback or not. I should test that because I actually haven't. So normally I don't put on my Glossier with non-Glossier makeup because I feel like it, it goes best with the skin tint and it doesn't really mix with my other makeups very well. But no, today I thought I would give it another shot and just see how it goes because the coverage is actually really nice. I do truly like the coverage that it gives. Okay, now I'm using my stretch stretch concealer what is it called the wowder from from you know from glossier sorry words are hard i don't know if you can tell like I said, the stretch concealer does tend to crease. I have no idea if you guys can see that or not, but it is kind of doing that right now. It's not like too, too bad, but it is kind of creasing. So that's just something to know. I just really like the coverage. It's got good coverage, but it just does not want to stay where you put it. So we make do, you know? So I'm going to warm up my face with the bronzer, and I love this butter brown bronzer from Physicians, whatever the heck you call it, Physicians Formula. It's so soft and smooth, and it blends really nicely. So that's what the bronzer looks like. It's just nice and warm and like, I just feel like it makes me look more summery. That's great. I have a, like a plate of chocolate cake on my desk and I just put my fluffy brush right on top of cake crumbs. I love that for me. I'm just gonna do the eye primer potion by Urban Decay and put that on my lids. Not having acrylic nails is so beneficial when you're trying to apply makeup because when I'm trying to get into this like inner corner of my eye and I have like long nails, I like can't reach it and it's really hard to blend out my makeup. So, you know, sometimes having your natural nails is beneficial. Now I'm gonna go in with this purple eyeshadow, this one, from a Kat Von D palette. I really don't use that often. 
That is a... bright color. It's actually kind of fun, to be honest. Okay, come on, that's kind of fun. And this red is also from the Kat Von D. Pretty. And now I want like a really bright pink shimmer in the inner corner. Sorry, I get so bad at explaining what I'm doing. Okay, so these two dark shades were from the Kat Von D palette like I showed you. And I'm going in with this light shimmer shade from my Jaclyn Hill palette. I kind of want to see if I can add. So my camera and really stopped recording. Uh, basically, I didn't really do anything new. I added a little bit of a red into the eyeshadow but for the most part it's still it still looks pretty normal okay I think that's pretty good I'm gonna leave it before I mess it up more okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows So my eyebrows are done. I am going to be putting lashes on. Actually, let me do let me do a little bit of eyeliner. Also, I love this eyeliner from Glossier. It is beautiful. And it goes on so smooth. And it also comes off really easy, which you might not like if you want your, if you want it to be waterproof, it's not. But I hate, hate, hate struggling to take off my makeup at night. It is my biggest pet peeve when I just want to go to bed and like my makeup won't come off. I have a mascara that could survive the nuclear holocaust, which is like fine for certain occasions. But when I try wearing it on a daily level and I just want to take off my makeup, there will be mascara on my eyelashes for the next 50 years. I hate it. I believe my eyelashes are, I just bought a new pack. So let me go see what they're called so I can tell you. Right now I'm keeping them in this. I lost the case they came in, so I'm keeping them in a random 
Is there the Allure London? They look like this. And I do trim them down pretty far. I don't like having giant lashes. I kind of just like having the ends be kind of like wispy and pretty. That's just my personal preference. So I do cut most of the lash off and keep only like the wispy part. But that is just my personal preference. I also find that lashes would adhere better when you kind of put mascara on the end and they also look better like i said i only do i only keep about half the lash on there and i have the tiniest bottle of lash glue look how tiny that thing is it's incredible so these are kind of natural looking they're very pretty and very wispy i honestly think these are my new favorite pair because of how beautiful they are and they go on really nice. So it might take you a couple tries. Eyelashes are not easy. I've been putting lashes on for a really long time and it's really difficult for me to do it. So it's just practice takes perf makes perfect. It's always the stupid like inner corner that never wants to go on for me. Like just stick. Why do we have to fight every time? We have a love hate relationship, you know? Like she just, she just doesn't always want to listen to me. Even though like that's what's best for us. And our relationship is for her to just listen. She doesn't like that, so. I like to go back with the liner and just line to my inner corner. So those are the lashes. I love these lashes. I love having long, cartoonish lashes, I think. They are very pretty. Then I'm just gonna do the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Aume brush. I'm not a huge fan of this color. I was expecting it to be a little bit darker, but. And I just blot. If I like rub, it'll be. way too aggressive. And that just really looks really natural and pretty. I love that. And now I'm gonna highlight, but I'm gonna use a eyeshadow palette. As a highlighter, I'm gonna take this like fluffy brush and I'm gonna dip into these pink shades since I'm kind of going with pink. I'm gonna do these two pink shimmeries. Okay, I'm gonna line my lips with this pink. It's NYX in Nude Pink. And I'm gonna do this lip gloss in the color Free Bird from Morphe. Okay, that's the finished makeup look. 
So originally I was going to include this in my apartment vlog, but I think I might do two separate videos just because this was really long and I kind of want to include the full thing in the video. So yeah, I'll probably end up making this into two different videos. But yeah, that's the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed doing this look. I love the purple. I think it's really pretty and really cute. And yeah, overall I'm happy with the way this turned out. Thanks for watching.